Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Someone asked me what else I've got lurking in the grow room that's not orchids. <laughs> there are a few things. Um, the clivia, uh, that actually has just finished blooming again, so there's a second blooming this year, but that lives out in the hallway where the light levels look light level is lower and it's cooler um, and quite honestly it's just too big if I had it out here yes it might look nice but it'd be in my way wherever it was it's just a big plant and that unfortunately has happened with this giant fern as well which has just gone silly um, that needs repotting as well it needs a bigger pot basically to go with the bigger plant but this one's currently pushing up some nice new leaves quite a few coming so that lives out here and my Oh, thing, why can I strip to carpus? Carpus that lives in here as well. Um, that sort of does okay. I nearly lost that a while back. A lot of the leaves went brown and dropped off, but then it sort of shot out again. So it's it's recovered. Um, lovely blooms on this. Lovely colour. Lovely deep, rich velvet purple. Gets mealy bugs on it now and again, but uh, not not what I would call an outbreak. Just an odd one now and again. And then out here we've got my ferns, um, the maidenhair fern I actually bought at a show, it was one of the um, plants used for decoration and um, they were selling them off so I got that one, I've always liked maidenhair ferns. And the other ferns out here are rescues from orchid pots. <laughs> so I've got that little feathery one there, um, that was quite a small plant a while back, that's grown on quite nicely. Unfortunately that's the one that keeps getting forgotten to get water. This lot live under this table so when I'm watering they're constantly dripped on so they're always wet but that, there isn't enough room for that one as well so I have to remember to water him separately. And the other two around here, this is a lovely um, lovely delicate green this one and then this one, um, this has suddenly started growing some rather large leaves Mealy bugs on the ferns? Oh no, it's just a bit of moss. Um, yeah, so these are ferns that were rescued from orchid pots. This is getting big. <laughs> yeah. um, now that is the problem. This is a good environment for them. It's probably it's too warm for the maidenhair fern. That's not too happy, but it survives. Um, but they love the humidity, of course. And then up here we've got my row of pinguiculas. <sighs> these are these just grow away, they do okay, they don't, don't need a lot of looking after. I just pour some water in the trays when they're getting a bit dry. Lovely pretty little flowers. Um, this one's perking up a bit, this one looked a bit sorry for itself a while back, as did this one. But they, they've sort of come back again. And then these two here, this one's got a lovely coloured bloom on it. Um, it's been out of bloom for a while now, but um, it opens up a lovely deep purple and then it fades to that colour. And then this one on the end is just constantly in bloom. It, it just keeps throwing little flowers out. Um, so there's those. And this one, probably haven't seen this for a long time. I bought this last year. A uh, guy from Hampshire Carnivorous Plants came along and did a talk. And he had quite a few plants for sale. And um, these are not the best things. It's, a, it's got a name actually, it's a Saracena something or other. Saracenia, sorry. And it's um, CV Bella, whatever CV is. Um, but it's got its, um, it's, got its uh, background in there. Anyway, um, this has been living outside for some time. Um, it stayed in here in the winter, which is a problem because that means it didn't die back when it should have done. Um, so when I put it outside when it was, um, you know, when we got rid of the frosts and everything, it, 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 it wasn't dormant like it should have been really. But nonetheless, it's grown some, it's grown some nice sized tubers, whatever you call them. And I've had to leave this outside for a while because obviously staying in here in the winter, um, it was starving because it couldn't catch any food. <laughs> so I put it outside and um, all of these uh, containers now are full of flies and wasps. 
So it's been feeding itself, so I thought, well, it can spend some time in here now because they are very attractive. The patterning is gorgeous. So those are the non-orchid things that uh, lurk around here. Everything else in here is an orchid of some description, some of which are in desperately need, desperate need of water. I ran out of steam. Um, I had to water all my pots yesterday. It just the cooler, shadier ones that need to stay moist. They come round a bit quicker than the rest of the pots. But every now and again they catch up with each other and it was just one of those days yesterday when absolutely everything had to be watered and the mounts as well. So by the time it got to the holy clay pots and it was their turn, they had to wait. And they're the ones that the least harm will come to them if they wait. They need a wet dry cycle, yes, and they shouldn't stay dry too long this time of year. They're all growing like mad. but. There's only so much you can do in one day. I spent most of the day messing around out here yesterday. So, uh, Anyway, holy clay pots to do now. That was just a quick look around the non-orchid stuff in here. Um, this will have to go back outside after a while because it's going to use up all its food and then it will want some more. But I just thought I'd bring it in, you know, for two, three weeks, something like that. You know, perhaps pop it out again, you know, for a few days, let it sort of restock its uh, food sources and then perhaps bring it back in again. But it does need to cool right down in winter and um, push it into its dormancy, which is difficult anywhere in the house. And I haven't got like a cold greenhouse or a cold frame or anything where I can keep it. So it, it shouldn't get frozen, you know, but it needs to cool right down and go dormant to grow well and possibly bloom the next year. We'll work on that. Um, these little things are probably a bit hungry because these mainly feed on the fungus gnats and they've just done their job too well so they've run out of food. <laughs> I, don't know where, I don't even know where I can put them where they'll get some. I suppose I could pop them outside in a shady spot for a few days and see if they can get some bugs on the leaves, give them a bit of food. I may try that. Um, anyway, so just a quick one today and uh, uh, oh Film reference, I'd forgotten to even think about this. Okay, this is, um, this is an English accent, so an English actor in an American film, animated. And the expression is, oh goody. Let's see if you can get that one. <laughs> Said just like that, like, like a sigh, oh goody. Oh well. Have fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying these. <laughs> but I think certainly the first couple were far too easy. <laughs> you know, what I was hoping one day is to get up in the morning and have a look at the comments and like either no one or only, only one person has got it out of those that are bothering to join in a bit of fun. Uh, but anyway, see if you can get that one. That'll be good. See you next time. Bye for now.